Hi guys, so this is my cherry blossom soap. I'm going to go milk soap. I'm going to be taking this out, but I wanted to show you what it looked like before I pop it out. Because I've got some cherry swirl there. If I would have had cherry blossoms, I probably would have used those, but I didn't. So anyway, woo! Have a little bit more swirl there. So exciting. A lot more swirl. Kind of digging it. I'm kind of getting the hang of this swirl thing. Doing a little bit better. If you're just starting off, ooh, that looks really nice. If you're just starting off, then I just have to say practice, practice, practice. Because it does get better, you learn. I have this one scent. It smells like a barber shop. And so I was like, what color should I put with that? And I think I'm going to do the red and blue. That old barbershop sign looking thing. Swirl. I'm liking it. So that really good. It smells amazing. It's not too overpowering. It's really nice. I like it. My soft scent. It smells really good. Got my marble going. Marble swirling. I like it. That looks good. Definitely see there's a lot more right there. And again, I do small batches, so everything is unique. I'm never going to be able to duplicate it on any of the bars or any of the batches for that matter because each pour is so unique. Similar but unique. So the next time I go to make this same scent, I won't be able to duplicate it exactly because it just happens it differently so I'm liking this so again this is my cherry blossom goat milk soap and looking forward to picking, taking these to the farmers market which is really cool I like it and the last one cool all right thanks for watching guys